the, the knowledge um, that we get through the existing parcel delivery to help the users uh, navigate their parcel delivery and get more convenience through each parcel delivery. Uh, and in the long term, there will be much more automated and technical based delivery solutions that you also have in the um, uh, innovation center like drones, uh, street based or air based, but it's more long term solutions there. So now, now we're coming to the, the smart delivery again. So also here we see, I think Frank is moving a bit quicker this time. So this is more, I guess, his realistic speed that he would typically go. Trunk opens very easily. He could also take returns out of the car. locks it again with the smartphone application and continues the journey. Also the puddle doesn't seem to be really a challenge for Effibot. So now coming already to the last delivery point, Bianca, the third pair of shoes that you're receiving today. So whenever you come to the innovation center and the reception is busy, you know why. Okay, and we made it to the... As you saw him um, walking faster and slower, so, so he actually allocated um, 35 parts to Kiel Graz, 50 to Viva, and 50 parts to Effie Nox. Um, and his main reason he said was really that the speed and the noise was one reason why he said that um, so Effie and Viva both worked, um, but Effie was much um, faster and was walking and easier to use for him. So that's the first judge. Ralf, as the second judge, um, it's similar direction. Um, also, the, um, the, the Tier Graz of the 6 wheel vehicle, because I believe there is potential, they're not as mature as one from Effie Dons, and, and he said it's a much more seamless experience, it looks like. That's why I get 55 points to Effie Dons. Myself, in a very similar direction, um, we also thought that the Tier Graz has potential, but it's maybe not just there yet in terms of maturity, and uh, Effie Dons, um, they got 60 points. So we only have a leading one, but the, really the the most important vote is, is the audience because you have more, more points. So, without further ado, so the winner of the robotics challenge is Effie Dawson.